we have making the walk for his XFC debut. But don't let that fool you. This man is extremely experienced. And of course, we are talking about Justin, the Springbok Van Heerden, Craig. That's right, mate. He's got 15 fights to his name so far. So six as a pro and uh, nine as an amateur. Mate, um, he certainly is an active fighter. Yes. And uh, speaking of activity, he's always on social media asking every promoter for a fight. You see any promotion post something that they got a fight night coming up. Justin Van Heerden's going to be the first one in the comments section going, hey, do you need a featherweight? And, you know, just sort of adding on to that, Justin, as I just mentioned, usually fights at featherweight, 66 kilos for those that aren't familiar with the weight classes. He has stepped up not only one, but two weight classes to take this bout up into welterweight, 77 kilos. Originally, it was supposed to be one of his training partners taking this fight here tonight against Nathan Wilson. An unfortunate injury forced Corbin Robertson out of the bout and Justin Van Heden, well, he heard the whispers at the gym and he quickly went to his coach, Pasha Stoyer, and said, hey, Pasha, I'm not doing anything that weekend. Yeah, man, that's right. And um, it, it, not only the case that he's also taken fights uh, on late notice just in terms to get a fight. So he's um, certainly not worried about who he hops in the cage with. And what I really like about his style is he's, he's got a great chain wrestling style with enough striking where he knows how to set up his wrestling. So uh, if this goes to the ground, don't think it's all one-sided because Nathan is also a brown belt in, um, in jiu-jitsu and uh, we'll welcome Nathan out in a second and continue commentary. And here we have Nathan the Neanderthal Wilson, fresh off a victory over Josh Robson at XFC 41. Tonight, he will step into the XFC cage for the fourth time in his MMA career. So fresh off his first victory as a professional, got a beautiful rear naked choke in the dying seconds of his fight against Josh Robson at XFC 41. As I mentioned, he has done a lot of work with Nugget McNaught for this training camp. So really sharpening up the tools on the feet. And uh, well, I am extremely excited to see not only how he looks technically in the cage, but I'm also interested to see how these two boys look standing next to each other weight wise. Mate, I agree. What I'm loving about this fight is that Nathan doesn't take a backward step and I certainly know that Justin won't either. So it's going to be interesting. The game plan's pretty clear for both. Um, Justin's going to try and pressure him against the cage. Nathan's aware of this and Nathan's job what he's going to try to do at this point is reverse it so that he's able to uh, go with strikes. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, fight number seven this evening is a professional welterweight bout which will be contested over three five minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He weighed in at 76.7 kilos and trains out of Southside MMA, holding a professional record of three wins for three defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Justin, the Springbok Van Heerden. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner he weighed in at 76.3 kilos and trains out of NTG, a fight and fitness. With three fights as a professional, he holds one win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nathan, the Neanderthal Wilson. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Thomas Churchill. So Justin Van Heden, uh, training under Pasha Stolio, and uh, we've got... All right, so straight into, straight into things. Some nice jab sticking there from Nathan Wilson. Oh, and he drops Justin Van Heden straight into the double leg. Now guillotine attempt here from Nathan. Wow, what a start to this fight. That looks tight. Let's see if Justin can try and survive this early adversity here. It was almost a standing guillotine, but he's able to turn it around. Wow, so that jab just sat Justin Van Heerden down, but what a quick recovery. Thomas Churchill looked like he was about to stop the fight there for a second, but uh, a flash knockout perhaps there, but Justin showing a lot of heart to uh, stay in this fight. He was able to bring it back. Well, you can see is Nathan's got his hands clasped here. Let's see if he's able to lift and drop. Now, just remember we're going uh, difference in weight, so let's see how it goes and see if Nathan utilizes his weight advantage here. 
Yeah, so I tell you what, no one can question the courage of Justin Van Heaton taking this fight. There are very few fighters that would be willing to step up two weight classes to try and get a fight, but oh, look at this. Triangle. triangle attempt from a Justin Wilson from oh. Justin Van Heaton. Sorry, Nathan Wilson doing the right thing, trying to cut he's the corner. Oh, he's that's tight. The corner. That's, that's tight. really tight. And he's tapping. Wow! Oh my gosh! Justin Van Heaten with oh the comeback gosh. victory! Justin Van Heaten gets the victory. Two weight classes up from his natural weight class after essentially hitting the canvas with a fight finishing blow prior to that. Incredible. What, it, what a heart, what a heart. So as we see on the replay here, the shots landing that put Justin down, just that beautiful stiff jab from Nathan Wilson. Then deep in the guillotine, Justin Van Heerden, as tough as they come, worked his way out of it, got slammed into guard from Nathan Wilson. And as we see here, looked for the armbar, did well there to then readjust the hips and finish things off with a beautiful triangle choke from close guard. And his head, Nathan's head was almost out and Justin was able to readjust. Beautiful. That is amazing. And it's really, really good to see the camaraderie here with Nathan previously training out of Southside. Nice little hug there with Pasha Stolia. And from Justin as well. This is respect and a great, great fight. Could have gone either way. Nathan putting a great shot on Justin and Justin able to recover. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 13 seconds of round number one. Declaring your winner by submission due to a triangle choke in the blue corner, Justin the Springbok Van Heerden. So I'm here with our winner from fight number seven this evening, Justin the Springbok Van Heerden. Of course, for those in attendance that don't know, your natural weight class is featherweight. Two weight classes down from this, taking this fight on short notice, jumping up two weight classes. Talk to me a little bit about what was the thought process behind that. Um, so my uh, very good teammate, Corbin Robertson, he couldn't fight. He, uh, he hurt his knee. Um, I spoke to my coach, we decided to take the fight, and uh, yeah, it was, it was obviously, um, it all worked out. I'm just, uh, I'm lucky that I stepped in here in Fort Nathan, because if Corbin did, we might see a dead man. So of course, Nathan did clip you early on in that fight. How hurt were you when that shot landed? Um, I obviously knew that he was going to come out and pressure me, because he's got a very pressure heavy style. The man, the man likes to brawl, he likes to throw bombs, he likes to take hits, he doesn't care. Um, that landed clean and like, it was just one of those ones where you're like, I thought I had my guard up, thought I had it right and it landed, come through. And I was like, oh shit, all right, now I gotta fucking, let's, let's reset, listen to Pasha. Pasha's like, stay calm, Justin, reset. And Des is talking me through, he's like, we'll get to the new position, we'll start doing what we're doing. Um, he got a bit wild with posturing up, seeing him reach that arm back and I was like, this triangle city time, bro. Well, you certainly impressed a lot of people here tonight. Two weight classes outside of your natural weight class. Cannot wait to see you compete again. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the Springbok, Justin Van Heerden.